So these things are pretty nice. If you're looking for something to, let's say, maybe put off on a piece of property or maybe even you've decided to relocate to another state, your building or just whatever the situation may be, maybe you're looking for something that's not really a tiny house. It's got a lot of square footage to it and it's gonna be easy to transport. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a new 2023 Forest River Sandpiper, model number 403RD. The RD, of course, does stand for rear den. You mainly have sleeping for two. However, you've got like a double slide set up in the back where you have two sleeper sofa, so possibly sleeping room for additional guests. So we are gonna start on the inside, but I'd like to just point out some of the numbers before we go inside. 42 feet in length, dry weight as it currently sits of 11,407 pounds, so 42 feet in length. That's gonna be the total length, including the tongue jack. But speaking of the tongue jack, if you are to get this thing in place, that tongue jack can be removed. We're just gonna pass by it as we head inside. But that is completely removable. It's extremely windy today. So model number 403RD. Five total slides, four of which are between your living and your kitchen. You've got solid surface countertops. Two sliding doors. I'm just trying to orientate you slightly, but we are gonna start, I guess here in the kitchen area, and then move back to the rear den. So slam resistant latches on all of the cabinetry, solid surface countertops throughout the kitchen as well. 21, maybe 22 cubic foot LG fridge, stainless steel. That is the same as the resident, residential type. You can go over to your Home Depot and replace. All the controls are right over here. Kitchen island in the middle. I guess I should have turned on some of the lights. I've not really made it that far. Let's see if we can't get this opened up. To give you a sneak inside. That's gonna be a single basin undermount sink. You can have the additional flip up here on your island. Let's look at your oven. Insignia brand, stainless steel again. This is considered the residential size for an RV. It's a lot bigger than what you normally will find. Here's my hand for reference in size and it's adjustable by at least three. And four different burners on the top. Here's my hand again. That's the largest and here's the smallest. Insignia microwave, that's not a convection. If it's a convection, you'll have stainless steel throughout instead of the white. In your pantry. I had a comment that told me they could not watch my videos because I'm too aggressive. That's probably true. Uh, however, my wife tells me a lot, yes, you're very aggressive, you need to calm down, you slam everything. Even my kids do it, I don't know, it's just something I do. But it also helps show the slam resistant latches on some of the makes and models that I carry. I do apologize. Swing it around to your dining room area. So flush mounted slides all the way throughout the unit. You do have 80% tint on all the windows throughout the unit as well. You'll notice that one's a little darker since it's open. Your slide box height on board the Sandpiper is six foot five. And this is a legless table. For taller guys like myself, you're not gonna have to worry. There's plenty of room in the slide. Your windows are trimmed out black roller shades and this is just a picture window the two side windows on board here are breeze windows so you can create kind of a nice cross breeze let's go ahead and turn on some lights i do apologize on port ceiling even though we don't need the outside right now and of course there's multiple light switches over each slide such as the accent lights and let's turn the last one on in the kitchen. So heading back to the living area, you have your own entrance, which kind of separates the kitchen and living nicely. The steps are upgraded. Um, these are detachable. I'll show them in the bedroom once we get up there. 
I also like the separation here. And some of you probably want to know the size of this. So that's fully spread. Some people also say I'm too generous with my measurements. I do apologize for that. So coming into your living area, two additional slide outs here. Creates a nice big open area. Six foot five slide boxes. I'll try to show some pictures of the sleeper sofas opened up in the video, maybe giving you a better idea of what those look like whenever you are sleeping additional guests. Let's take a seat. So sitting in your two theater seats from top to bottom, you have an all electric fireplace that does pre produce right around 5,000 BTUs of heat. That's your Connex soundbar with inside and outside speakers and a nice big Connex television. Thomas Paine collection furniture throughout the unit. And these two are your two recliners. You will have LED accent lights underneath them. I'll try to include maybe some additional pictures of these opened up as well. Let's go ahead and head all the way up to the bedroom and then we'll go over the bath. And then I'll give you a sneak peek of our sales price and MSRP. So quite obvious, this is the two screen doors. Those are installed once you get it in place. And that's the second set of steps. These are detachable from the unit. So in transportation, this is where these will be. Make sure you have a cautious driver. There is additional storage under the bed. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can open this up. There's a little peek under the bed. And that's going to be your fuse panel right over here for your 12 volt and your 110. North to south queen bed with 12 volt and 110 outlets on the left and to the right. Some storage up here as well. King Wi Fi range extender. Don't do that. And this is your view from the bed. You can possibly mount maybe a 48 inch TV all the way at the top. You see the connections over there and that's storage over the washer and dryer connections. Let's open this up for you now. So you can go either out, whatever you choose. You can do a combo unit or maybe a stackable. If you decided to do a stackable, the RV manufacturer that you get it from will have to drill a hole through the wall. Make sure if you do decide to have one of these installed, pay attention to the holding tanks on the outside. There is a probably a certain pull handle that's designated just for the washer and dryer. And this is maybe a good place for your detergent. It's pretty deep actually. That's maybe, in my opinion, 24 by 24. So this is your wardrobe slide over here. All electric slide. I'll open each one of these up and give you an idea. So it looks like maybe a couple shelves on the left, maybe for some shoes or whatnot. And that's all hanging closet. So let's go ahead and head to the bathroom. So you've got probably right at a 12 inch step up to get into the shower, but lots of headroom, possibly over, over seven feet of headroom. Really decent sized bathroom, but a little limited on space, maybe to enter. See, I, I didn't mean to be that rough. Sometimes it just happens. Porcelain foot flush toilet. So let's talk about those holding tanks again. If you decide that you don't want the holding tanks, this model can be ordered from the factory with a residential toilet, which will replace this porcelain foot flush toilet. I'll try to also include the holding tank capacity somewhere around here in the video. This is your view. And that's going to be your medicine cabinet. So hope you guys like what you've seen so far. If you don't mind, drop me a couple of thumbs up or even leaving a, maybe a comment or two down below. But a date and time of making this video, MSRP, maybe you can pause the video here to read this closer. I'm videoing with a GoPro, so not the best of quality. MSRP of 87,143. Of course, you can view more pictures and our price 
over at our website, which that link is found in the description down below. If you don't care to see anything on the outside, again, go ahead and leave me a couple of thumbs up or even a comment telling me what you think. Let's go ahead and move outside. So again, mainly these can be moved around if you chose to do so, but it is designed really to put in place and to be left for an extended period of time. It's gonna be 96 inches wide. And I do believe your height from the ground to the highest point, which will be the air conditioner on the top, is right at 13 feet, four inches tall. You've got two 30 pound bottles in the front. And it will come with a battery housing. I just have this on temporarily just to give you guys some power on the inside, as well as to give me some power for getting the pictures over on our website. This model is gonna be stabilized from four scissor jacks, one found on each of the four corners. You do in fact have heated holding tanks standard from the factory. But again, these can be removed fully enclosed underbelly with these new and improved four by eight sheets. These can be removed by each panel if you have to get under there and do some kind of service work. And this is the removable tongue. So once you get it in place, maybe you have it professionally installed. Maybe I suggest putting blocks down the way then removing the tongue jack. It gives it more of a nicer look. Some customers will even come back and put skirting on it to maybe protect it a, you know, a little bit more. You've got a really big awning, possibly 20 feet across. Five total slides, fully walkable roof, two air conditioners. Both of these are 15K. I should stop pointing in front of the camera also. Come around to the back. Fully walkable roof. I wish I wish they would just go ahead and make it standard from the factory to include a ladder. There's the other set of the rear scissor jacks. Rack and pinion slides. And this is also the power connection back on the back of the unit. And there's a shot of your rack and pinion slide. So on demand water heater by Furion. And this is the exhaust for the 30,000 BTU furnace. And your connections for city water, city water connection, your black tank flush, television connections up here, if the campground has that for you. And the pull handles to dump all your sewer are located underneath the skirting on the side, right through here. Black, gray, and galley. And that's going to be the only connection point, which is very, very beneficial. That way you're not fumbling around with multiple hoses. I hope you guys like what you've seen. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.